destination is coming into view. Don't you want to capture that impressive first experience? The skyline, the beach, shots from high above. But wait, this can be a tall order. Of course, there are more exciting ways of getting somewhere. But who can afford a private helicopter transfer to the world's only seven-star hotel? Luckily, there are plenty of other options out there. But if it's really the best bird's eye views you want, then you can't beat a heli. We chartered one to get a first class look at this amazing boomtown. Now this new generation of digital camcorders is absolutely perfect for daylight filming. Your camera automatically selects the best setting, so all you have to do is concentrate on the record button and decide what to film. First, switch on the image stabilization in your camera menu. You'll need to remember this when you're filming movement but can't use a tripod. And second, get a steady grip on your camera, especially if you're expecting a bumpy flight. Try and hold the body with two hands. Okay, sure, it's exciting seeing this spectacular landscape through your camcorder. But don't get carried away. Take your time and don't move your camera from one thing to the other you need to take long shots. 10 seconds, 20 maybe, even 30. Then you could edit your stuff later. What you don't want are a bunch of snapshots lasting only a few seconds. You won't be able to edit them. Remember, this is a video camera, not a photo camera. Oh, and one more thing. You have this nice digital zoom on your camcorder. Be strict to yourself and try not to touch it. At least, not when filming landscapes. It's all about getting the right perspective. Take the Burj Dubai here. At over 800 meters high, it's the tallest building in the world. Filmed from the ground, you won't ever get the whole thing on screen. Here you have it in full, including the surroundings. Yeah.